Well, hello guys. I saw an article which was of interest, some interest to me. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, share it with you in the, from the Inquirer. Let's take a look at it right now. This is it. Uh, 20 Hollywood hoarders. You won't believe your eyes. Tom Hanks, Delta Burke, Kate Jackson, Johnny Depp, Barbara Streisand, Billy Crystal. Let's take a look at it right now. It's interesting. You know, some, some of them are collectors. And Let's see, here we go. Hollywood's secret obsession. Hollywood hoarders' secret obsessions. When too much is not enough. We have Angelina Jolie, Will Ferrell, uh, Lindsay Lohan, Lisa Kudrow, Tom Key, Tom Hanks. Some interesting, some interesting things. Let's take a look at it. Angelina Jolie <clears throat> on Knife's Edge. Angie really is a femme fatale. Watch your back around Angie, the Oscar winner, has amassed a huge collection of antique knives. Quote, my mom took me to buy my first daggers when I was 11 or 12, revealed the Maleficent Witch, 44. Shockingly, Angie's passing her obsession to her six kids, even though she admitted using her knives to self-harm, cutting herself as a teenager. But her bunch of blades isn't your <clears throat> ordinary kitchen cutlery. Quote, they are not shiny, brand new, sharp knives from the store, she explained. They're antique, beautiful knives from other countries. So here's Angie, Angelina Jolie, with her collection of knives. That's interesting. Here is uh, Tom Hanks, all keyed up. The actor owns more than 250 typewriters. Stop the presses for Tom. The Hollywood A-lister is passionate about typewriters. The Forrest Gump star, 63, has scoured flea markets around the world since 1978 to build his collection of more than 250 retro machines. Quote, short of, quote, quote, short of carving words into stone with a hammer and chisel, not much is more permanent than a paragraph, sentence, or love letter typed on paper, he gushed. I use a manual typewriter and the U.S. Postal Service almost every day. I'd better start hoarding stationery and pray the post office survives. That's very good. Let's see what they say about the whole situation. The biggest stars in Tinseltown are hiding a shocking secret. They're hoarders who literally have it all. In this special report, the National Enquirer takes you inside celebrity houses from hell that are jammed from floor to ceiling with all types of trash and treasure. According to medical experts, hoarders suffer from a type of obsessive compulsive disorder. OCD that drives them to collect and save large quantities of possessions or even animals. Hoarders become deeply attached emotionally to the objects they amass and panic at the thought of discard discarding stuff. Over time, they can accumulate so much their homes can be stacked with junk and they become isolated from the outside world. At its worst, compulsive hoarding can cause fires and health problems including rat and roach infestations, experts warned. Will Farrell, Bird Brain. The Bird Whisperer's collection is valued at almost $8 million. Anchorman star Will is all laughs on screen, but he's deadly serious about the brood of exotic birds worth a whopping $7.8 million roosting at his home. He has... Giant cages filled with birds, revealed his pal, director Adam McKay. These are the kinds of birds that bite you. 
But when it's him, they just fly right on his arm. Among the bird whisperer Will's faves are a cockatoo named Professor Feathers and a turkey buzzard with a 14-foot wingspan. But the 52-year-old funny man squawks at putting his flock on film. The birds are not for money. They're for God, he says. That's Will Farrell, Farrell and his birds. He, has a, he loves birds. He has an obsession with them. Here's Lindsay Lohan. Lilo sits beside mountains of shoes and clothing. Here she is. Lindsay Lohan. Totally trashed. Troubled, mean stars girl Lindsay was unmasked as a secret hoarder when TV cameras exposed her Los Angeles condo as a disaster area of shoes, clothes, accessories, toiletries, and who knows what. Her media room was so packed it was impossible to tell a gigantic flat-screen TV was behind all the mess. Lindsay, 33, revealed she couldn't throw out the floor to ceiling drunk. It gives me anxiety, admitted the self-described shopaholic. The clutter, the clutter takes up a lot of space mentally. Here's Lindsay Lohan. Well, let's hope people, whoever need it, get hope, the help that they need. Anyway, here, let's continue here. Lisa Kudrow, Paper Chase. Former friend star Lisa earned kudos producing TV's Who Do You Think You Are, which helped celebs track down their roots. Now she considers herself a hoarder because she can't part with papers and documents from decades ago. I used to feel bad about holding on to things from the past, like my day runners from the 80s and faxes and stuff, confessed Lisa, 56. But not anymore. Quote, these are all potentially important family documents about what I was thinking or feeling at the time, she said. The Friends actress can't bear to toss, to toss faxes. That's Lisa Kudrow, The Paper Chase. Let's continue on. I have a few more features here. Sally Struthers, buying bringes. Remember Sally Struthers from All in the Family? Okay, here she is. The All in the Family star filled her, filled her home with trinkets. F Sally Struthers, buying bringes. Her passion for kitschy collectibles spiraled out of control as Sally's acting career nosedived following the end of her 12-year run playing Go Glorious Divek on TV. Sally packed on 60 pounds and began buying stuff to comfort herself. Quote, it turned into hoarding, dished an insider. Sally, now 72, collected teapots, pillows, perfume bottles, and more. I guess I'm a pack rat, Sally admitted. The warehouse people love me. So that's Sally, Sally Struthers. From all in the family fame. Here's Barbara Streisand. Streisand's secret village. Barbara stashes collectibles in a barn. Streisand's secret village. Obsessed collector Barbara has amassed so much art, furniture, and vintage clothing, she built a v village in a barn on her Malibu, California cal compound. Quote, I have a lot of stuff, and inside, I have a lot of stuff, and instead of storing it just in a basement, why not make a street of shops to house these things, said the 77-year-old superstar, who's held auctions to make room for new acquisitions. In 2009, Barbara offloaded 500 items, including a dentist's cabinet she'd had since she was 18. Quote, it was one of the first things I bought, she recalled. 
I will miss it. Paula Poundstone is a cat lady. Me ouch. After the Emmy winning after the Emmy Award winning stand up comedian beat alcoholism, Paula traded one addiction for another and began hoarding cats. Quote, a few years ago I was diagnosed with, with obsessive compulsive disorder, and I hoard this whole animal and I and I heard this whole animal hoarding thing is related to OCD, said the 59-year-old mother of three. Paula has confessed to struggling to keep her push population down to 12. But the feline fanatic boasted, quote, all my cats are well cared for and, sp and spayed and neutered. So that's Paula Poundstone. The funny lady has a house full of healthy pets. Here, this one is uh, TV Angel Jackson's Living Hell. Here, that I'll record for you. You can read it on your own. That's from Charlie's Angels. This is uh, Kate Jackson's Living Hell. Unfortunately, so let's hope she gets the help that she needs. This is uh, Billy Crystal's treasure hunt. Billy Crystal. Analyze this. Zany Billy said he's been, quote, totally hooked on collecting since he first watched TV's Antiques Roadshow. The comic 71 haunts flea markets where he spent a small fortune on everything from old paintings to crockery. Quote, Billy keeps his prized acquisitions in a storage unit, dished to source. His ultimate dream is to appear on TV with something he bought for 10 bucks and have experts tell him it's worth thousands. But no one has the heart to tell him what he's hoarded is a load of trash. Well, that's sometimes what this uh, inquirer says is not necessarily true. So anyway, what they say about it can be taken with a grain of salt also, you know. We can use our discretion on everything that's said over here. Let's get it to, do, to be a little... A little, uh, you know, we can focus a little better. Okay, now, uh, Hollywood secret, hoarder's secret obsession. Rosie O'Donnell, trapped in Toyland. No wonder funny lady Rosie confessed she identified with A&E sh show, with the A&E show hoarders. Her New York home overflows with thousands of toys. She stockpiled the original 1960 chatty Kathy Doll, a Mrs. Beasley from Family Affair, an original Kitty Carrie old doll from the Brady Bunch, and a host of figures from classic TV shows such as Star Trek and I Dream of Jeannie. There are also more than 2,500 McDonald's Happy Meal toys she picked up while touring as a stand-up comic in the mid 1980s. Rosie, 57, admitted having obsessive compulsive disorder and said, They remind me of my childhood. So there's Rosie. Rosie O'Donnell. Johnny Depp, Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter. The big spending star splurges on hats. Johnny has filled up his properties with possessions. Johnny Depp, Mad Hatter. The Pirates of the Caribbean star is king of the Hollywood hoarders as he racked up hit after hit. 
Johnny splurged on a vast collection of hats and headgear, a worldwide, a worldwide real estate portfolio of 14 residences worth $75 million, 45 luxury vehicles, and 70 vintage guitars. 70 vintage guitars. He's very accomplished. They're all very accomplished. Okay. He's stuffed Tinseltown collectibles worth millions in 12 storage facilities and archived 200 r rare artworks in warehouses rather than hang them. Quote, this makes him the world's most organized hoarder, spilled a business insider. Unfortunately, 56-year-old Johnny's spendthrift waves, ways have him facing financial ruin. Here we have uh, Jermaine Jackson, Jermaine Jackson, brother of the late uh, Michael Jackson, and a few of the other Jackson brothers and sisters. And Jermaine Jackson, angry closet case. The singer-songwriter was accused of hoarding clothes. Nobody's going to touch my clothes. That's what Jermaine barked as he locked himself in the room on ABC's Celebrity Wife Swap in 2014. He exploded after Danielle Baldwin's, da Daniel Baldwin's ex-girlfriend, Isabella Huffman, who switched with his then-wife, Halima, demanded to get rid of some of his clothes stacked all over the house. Jermaine, now 64, denied being a hoarder. But talk show host Wendy Williams called him out. Quote, he doesn't wear clothes more than once, she claimed. Their house is so full of clothing, there's no space for much else. Maria Carey's Underworld. Here's Maria Carey. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey loves to luxuriate in pricey underwear. Underwear. Okay. While her ex, Nick Cannon, swims in stockpiles of sneakers, We Belong Together songbird Mariah believes she belongs with as much sexy underwear as she can find. I collect, I collect lingerie, admitted Mariah, 49, whose high-end, one-of-a-kind intimates have their own room. I love, I love glamour. If I had my way, I would just wear lingerie. She also owns a massive collection of Hello Kitty items, also in a dedicated room. Quote, I've loved Hello Kitty since I was little, she said. Mariah may have even hinted at why she can't stop her hoarding habit. I've always had low self-esteem, she confessed. Kirstie Alley's Animal House. Lump former cheer star Kirstie into the category of animal hoarder. The actress has held as many as 26 exotic animals at her Los Angeles estate, which now houses 14 ringtail lemurs, native to Madagascar. Lemurs live for 30 years or more, so it's a huge responsibility, explained Kirsty, 68. Quote, I actually have a full-time animal caretaker. It's a life commitment. They're in my will, as the devout Scientologist quits Hollywood for the church's Clearwater Florida headquarters. Her spread reduced to $10.75 million is being marketed with a lemur habitat on the premises. On the premises. Here's Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, the rock star Rod Stewart. Train wreck. Here's his collection of trains. Rocker Rod's fascination with model trains has taken over his Beverly Hills home. Its third floor is devoted entirely to a sprawling railway layout modeled after Manhattan and Chicago of the late 1940s, complete with buildings, cars, storefronts, and the terminal that housed the Pennsylvania and the New York Central Lines. Amazing, amazingly, Rod built each piece in 
painstaking detail himself. He, he built it all himself. Quote, I have 13 trains running at once, boasted the singer, 74. He even takes his trains on tour, booking a second hotel room just so he can play engineer. So this is all aboard the love train. That's Rod Stewart with his collection of trains. Let's see if we missed anybody. Delta Burke. Delta runs an antique shop with her hubby and sells imported goods as well as her own odds and ends. Delta Burke's long nightmare, struggling with depression and OCD, designing women alum, Delta filled her home and 27 storage units with keepsakes, bric-a-brac, and the junk like oven mitts, pencil holders, and salt and pepper shakers. Quote, I hate living like that. I buy things to comfort myself. All it does is make the depression worse, confessed Delta 63, who's battled her demons since she was 18. Wed to actor Gerald McCraney for 30 years, Delta sought treatment, and, and she's seen slow improvement. There's not as many stacks, said the actress. So in other words, it's a slow improvement that she's doing. Here's Jack White, deadhead. He's a rock star. Former White Stripes rocker, Jack hoards stuffed animals and not the cuddly, fluffy type. His home is packed with a Noah's Ark of taxidermy. Quote, I've got a huge collection, confessed Jack, 44. I've got a zebra head, two gazelles, and a land, a kudo, a, a kudu, a giant white elk. He also has goats, hyenas, and an elephant head. Quote, I've never hunted. I don't think I ever could, he added. But I really do love animals, and I love taxidermy. There's a beauty to it. I feel like a rescuer. There's a majesty to these animals that I want to preserve. That's Jack, Jack White. Critter-loving Jack's home is filled with mounted animals. As a matter of fact, I once saw in um, American Pickers, where the Pickers uh, make a deal with Jack White for... Uh, that big elephant head that they just mentioned, I think he gave them a, uh, he gave them, for that elephant head, he gave them a, an old uh, photo, photo uh, uh, machine where you go into the f photo machine and you have your pictures taken. They used to have those in the old uh, arcades. And also he gave them a, 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 uh, Vintage uh, jukebox. So he gave those two items for that elephant head. I remember this in one of the uh, American Pickers uh, episodes. Oh, we have also... Uh, oh, let's see. I think we missed somebody. We missed uh, Nick, Nick Cannon. Let's see. Where's Nick Cannon? Where are we? Nick Cannon, Halloween secret hoarder secret obsessions. Nick Cannon's a real sneaker. Former America's Got Talent toast. Nick pours his heart and soul into the world's most expensive shoes and sneakers. Nick, who produces and hosts MTV's comedy show, Wild and Out, boasts multiple closets for his Jordan... Nine Concords, gold and, and snakeskin tour, textured Air Jordan 6 sneakers, custom Gucci Air Maxes, and a record-breaking $2 million pair of diamond-encrusted Tom Ford loafers. It's like art for me. It's like art for me, confessed the 38-year-old sneakerhead. Obviously, I'm an over-the-top dude. Nick has sneaker setups in L.A. and NYC. 
So that's Nick Cannon and his sneaker collection. Now, let's take a look. Let's take a look. There's one more here, or maybe two. Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno Berserk for, for Beanie Babies. So here's Lou Ferrigno. It's hard to believe that TV's terrifying Incredible Hulk has a passion for Beanie Babies. Former bodybuilder Lou, who played the Green Monster from 1978 to 1982, has amassed hundreds of the plastic pellet stuffed toys that were a huge hit in the 90s. And the 67-year-old is looking to add more to his collection. Quote, It's a matter of being in the right place at the right time to get the good ones, he explained. So you have to be in the right place at the right time to get the right, the good, the good beanie babies. So he's got hundreds of them. So that's Lou Ferrigno. Let's see this. Signs you may be a hoarder. If you suspect you or someone you love is a hoarder, look for these signs, these eight danger signs. Inability to throw away possessions. Severe anxiety when attempting to toss items. Tremendous difficulty categorizing, categorizing or organizing possessions. Indecision about what to keep or where to put things. Feeling overwhelmed or embarrassed by possessions. Suspicion of other people touching items. Obsessive thoughts and actions, including fear of running out of an item or needing it in the future. And the checking, checking the trash for accidentally discarded items. Functional impairments, including loss of living space, social isolation, and financial difficulties. But that's an important thing. Functional impairments, including loss of living space, social isolation, and financial difficulties. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, so take care. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.